This here is a gaming PC from an individual named Peter, and Peter actually lives pretty close to me, which is nice, I don't have to drive too far. Usually I'm driving about 45 minutes to an hour to pick up these systems, but uh, this was only about 10 minutes for me, which is uh, a breath of fresh air. His system, however, is quite dirty. He has a lot of dust caked up at this rear radiator, which is unfortunate. A lot of dust caked up behind this ROG Strix GTX 1080, which is a friggin' shame because this card is awesome. There's a lot of dust atop this power supply and a lot of dust atop this hard drive cage. The case is also fairly old, as you can expect, fairly grimy. Now, if you were asking why I use water to clean these cases and not something like an air compressor, I have one, but it just doesn't work the same way that water does. So water is the liquid, right? So it tends to remove grime a bit better than just air, air alone. I mean, even if it's pressurized air, it just does not do the same job at removing that hard stuck on grime uh, like water can. And I don't go to the extreme. I don't use a pressure washer. Um, I find that just a water hose out back will um, take care of things. So um, we're going to, again, replace the case and we're gonna replace the DDR4. He's got two sticks in there. He can fit eight DIMMs in total because this is an X99 platform. Uh, 6800K from Intel in here, 120 mil AIO at the rear. He's got an 800 watt power supply. Again, that GTX 1080 Strix ROG from ASUS. And then he has, I'm not sure, a couple storage drives. He doesn't need the optical drive bay, which is nice. We don't need a case that supports five and a quarter inch bays. Um, I think I know what case we're gonna use as well. So we're gonna get to cleaning. Stay with me. Team Group T-Force Vulcan Z DDR4 modules are packed with high frequencies and tight timings, making them great for your next Intel or AMD PC build. Their sleek, no-nonsense aesthetics blend nicely with any theme, and the low-profile design ensures they're compatible with most CPU tower coolers. Learn more by clicking the link below. Now, before you see the cleaning montage, very quickly gonna run through the stuff I use to clean these systems. I've got some shop towels here. I have some Q-tips, precision Q-tips. I have a knockoff iFixit toolkit. I love this thing, it's fairly cheap, but it comes with tons of useful useful tools. I have an electric blower. It's hardcore. I have a respirator for some pretty extreme cases uh, where the dust is just insanely caked up. And then I also have some 99% medical grade isopropyl alcohol. Are we ready? Cue the music.
So we finally finished cleaning and I wanted to show you what the old case looked like. Remember, we're not reusing this one. We're switching to the 4000D Airflow, but uh, this looks much better now. And despite its relatively old layout, looks like a fairly new case. But it's time to put everything else back together. Stay with me. And we're just running our routine checks now. System has booted up just fine. The fans are all turning uh, and we've got a post, which is good to, good to see. We also have both drives identified. Always nice to see as well. You don't want your system booting into the wrong drive or not detecting the boot drive. Give this back to the owner and then the owner emails me and is like, what the heck, you broke my system. Uh, so I like to make sure that those things are all taken care of before uh, sending these back to their owners. Granted, we did change a few things, but um, all in all, this is still like the, the heart of his system is still there. He's still got the same graphics card, the same CPU. He's just got a nice little RAM upgrade in here. Uh, and we've housed this system in a frankly much better, much more modern case. So I think the system now looks awesome. I think the case makes a huge difference in the before and after. Granted, everything is clean now, so that's probably Probably noticeable as well. Uh, the graphics card and the CPU combo here is very healthy. Uh, the GTX 1080 is still a very relevant 1080p and 1440p gamer. Even in 2021, I know these cards have gone up in value quite a bit over the recent uh, GPU market issues that we've discussed in earlier videos, but uh, it's cool to see one of these Strix 1080s still churning. And I think the balance is actually fairly healthy. Like I said, the, this is probably one of the more powerful systems that I've cleaned to date. 
And um, it's nice to be able to restore something like this because I think this will last the individual for several years to come if he wishes. Now, if you notice in the B-roll I swapped his RAM, he only had two sticks before. Of course, they're, I think these were Vengeance LPX modules, actually 16 gig DIMMs a piece. So he was rocking 32 gigs, which is great for a 6800K. However, he was only populating two of the eight DIMM slots. So I swapped that out with some Zadak memory and these modules look freaking awesome. So not only do we have four in here, two on each side of the CPU, uh, which I think looks really good, but uh, also these are RGB capable. So if he wants to play around with RGB a bit, uh, he has that option now, whereas he didn't before. So with that, I had a lot of fun cleaning this one as usual. Thank you for the support in this series. It has been phenomenal and I cannot wait to show you the final two episodes of this season. These two builds coming up are just they're awful. They're the two worst in the entire series by a long shot. And uh, we're gonna clean them thoroughly, try to make them look as close to new as possible. Again, check out our cleaning gear in the video description, as well as a few of the upgrades we threw in here. We also linked down below. Uh, Corsair didn't send this case for this video, but I still wanted to use it. It just kind of sits in the closet. So where I can upgrade you, I'll, I'll definitely try to do that. But uh, the, the main point here is to clean, and I think we've done a fairly good job uh, doing that. So be sure to leave your feedback via the thumbs up button. If you thought it was really cool, be sure to click the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and I will catch you in the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for cleaning with me.